peeps, what's up? How's it going? It's Josh. Um, <laughs> I I am still at a freaking loss for words about literally what just happened. Um, so, investigating Malvern Manor, hearing odd things, and you guys know me. Like, I always have my camera sitting out. It's ready to go. Um, my lav mic always sitting out, ready to go. I clip it on, I grab the camera, I hit record and I go. Today is absolutely no exception to that. However, what was happening? This was next level is basically what I'm trying to say. And it was absolutely terrifying. So what you guys are about to see is something that is, in my opinion, next level um i i wish i could explain it better what i do know is that the the feeling inside of the manor today has been screwed it's been off it's it's been completely uh, bizarre i don't know how to explain it all i do know is that Experiencing what I just experienced is something that doesn't happen that often. And apparently it's still happening. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be doing this right now. Looky here. Who's making those noises? I swear to God, it's coming from down here. Rebecca, was that you? noises were but to me it sounded like uh, like footsteps and talking like voices for sure what the hell is that Hello?
So guys, I know you can't see very well. Um, what in the frick was that? Hello? <sighs> Fuck, it's all around me. So guys, I know you can't see very well. That's what I was trying to say. All the way down the hall here, right? You see this section of light that's all the way up top here, right? Like this section right there. Obviously, I have this door at the end of the hallway is covered. And there's a reason for that. And it's, I mean, honestly, just to get rid of false positives, any light contamination, trick of the light, anything like that. But I don't know what the hell is going on, but that up there was just blocked out. I think I'm losing my gosh dang mind. F Hello? I've had my fill of fun with this room. Like a no more, no thank you type of scenario. Whose voice was I hearing? Describe to you the feeling in this building right now. It is not very welcoming at all. And I mean, it's crap, guys. I mean, it's early afternoon here, you know? I mean, obviously I just shut, you know, Rebecca's door or whatever, just see if she would like open it in some way, see if we could I mean, get some kind of a response that way. If I'm a betting man, it sounded like those voices were coming from, I mean, straight down here. That's what I think. There is some kind of weird thing going on down there with the lights. I'm just not sure what. Like again, I have that covered. I have that one over there covered. Again, just to eliminate noise pollution, noise contamination, like all of that stuff. Not noise contamination, light contamination. False positives, things like that. Guys, I'm sorry, I just can't even think straight. What in the sh... Okay. Oh my God. I 
me opening the door, obviously. The noises are coming from in here for sure. Oh my God. Feels so good, guys. I'm like sweating or something. All right, guys. If that's all you got for me, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go. I guess I'll just leave you alone. I'm sorry. I mean, if you need me, you know where to find me, I guess. Jesus! Okay, hey, hey. If you need me, you know where to find me, I guess. Jesus! Okay, hey, hey. If you need me, you know where to find me, I guess. Jesus! Okay, hey, hey. Man, I do not want to do this. Oh my God. Who did that? Who? Who was it? Who was it? Huh? Okay, let's see. Who was, God damn it. Who screamed? Huh? Who was screaming? Oh, please. Who was screaming? Rebecca, was that you? Oh my God. Well now on top of the sweating, I feel nauseous. What the frick? So, so dumb, so dumb, so dumb, so dumb. So dumb. Okay. Hold with this. All right, ending this. As I'm leaving the area, I know that I'm walking out and I say, well, if you need anything, let me know, right? The most God awful sound then emanates from the end of the hallway that has Rebecca's room in it. To me, what it sounds like is a a disembodied scream need me you know where to find me i guess jesus okay hey hey need me you know where to find me i guess 
Jesus. Okay, hey, hey. A female, for sure, a female scream from, I can only assume would be her room. I go in every single room after that. Every single room, I'm looking in nooks and crannies and all of that stuff. All the while, I'm trying to also show the hallway. I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to be conscientious about, about what I'm filming, right? So as I'm going through these rooms, I'm backing into the rooms to then also show you the hallway to basically also show you that nobody else is around, that nobody is coming out of this hallway and just dipping around or anything like that. I wanted to show you that this was legitimate. Whatever this was that I was experiencing was legitimate. Um, guys, this was something that was so profound that I thought it necessary to just sit down and try to make sense out of what was just what just happened. And and try to walk you through as well, kind of my thought process, what was going on in my brain and what I was feeling physically. As, as far as like being in that hallway, again, I was frozen. Like it was cold. I also know it's 90 degrees outside. So I was physically feeling cold. I'm also then sweating at the same time which is odd, right? But we have to ask ourselves, okay, is my body physically reacting to the heat and the paranormal activity simultaneously? Am I, it could be something as easy as this too. Am I physically coming down with something? Am I having a physical response to an illness? Maybe. I, I don't know, I feel fine or whatever, but I, I will also then mention that I, I started to feel nauseous, guys. My, my stomach was kind of like turning, like in knots, right? Like I was feeling nauseous. Again, am I having a physical response to an illness or potential illness? Or um, was I having a physical response to paranormal activity? I have no idea, guys. I mean, the next 72 hours will probably tell, right? I, I don't know. Again, I feel fine uh, physically. <laughs> Mentally, I'm still... <laughs> I'm still kind of uh, questionable there just because what that what just happened was one of the most profound what just happened to me was one of the most profound things I have ever personally experienced and I don't know why it hit different something about the the tone or the timbre in that voice like it sounded painful. It did not sit well with me. So going forward, I think it's important um, that we explore maybe a little deeper into uh, you know, Rebecca and trying to elicit a response from Rebecca, maybe even trying to get legitimate answers from her. Um, you know, and, and re legitimate responses from her. You know, again, She's not a big fan of men at all. So maybe this is something that um, I kind of have to put on to, on to Kirsten, um, which I think she would be more than happy to, to assist with. Um, but again, this was something so profound that I am struggling to even understand what the hell just happened. What the hell just happened? Guys, seriously, what the f just happened? Anyway, I hope that you guys are doing great. I hope each and every one of you is doing wonderful. Again, the love, the support, everything that you guys do for me, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I, guys, the, the page is growing. We're getting new 
people subscribing and, and following and all of that stuff and, and the members, guys. Oh my God, thank you so much. Uh, I think we're up to like 11 now, which is just, it's phenomenal. It's so cool. Um, so guys, for all the support, all the love, everything that you guys show me on the daily basis, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. We will talk to you soon. And hopefully I'm, I'm not actually getting physically sick, but we'll talk to you soon. All right. Peace, guys.